An El Paso family court judge defends himself against a public reprimand. The state disciplined him for his actions during his own divorce. KFOX 14 chief investigative reporter Genevieve Curtis looks into the allegations against the judge and why he insists he did nothing wrong. Judge Mike Herrera handles thousands of family law cases, divorce, child custody, and child support. I asked him whether a recent state sanction will affect his reputation on the bench. I have a reputation for being fair and impartial. And this is my divorce. It's not someone else's divorce. He disagrees with the state judicial board's discipline. Herrera was given a public reprimand in order to complete additional educational training. Constant lies and lies after lies. The commission found that Herrera failed to comply with the law, demonstrated a lack of professional competence in the law. It also found Herrera was not sorry for his actions, continues to believe he was justified and misused his position for his own personal desires. <laughs> well, that's what the state says, but I was. I was very impartial in my own. The sanction centers around Herrera's handling of his own divorce, which was assigned to his court. His divorce was left pending in his court for several months instead of being transferred. But Herrera says he and his wife settled their divorce amicably outside of court. He argues he didn't want to pay attorney fees. He says that money could have gone to his daughter. Unfortunately, this particular lawyer is very angry that we were able to settle the divorce decree. And she has made constant statements on the record in courts that I forced my, my spouse to a decree that I intimidated her, that I threatened her. Herrera told the commission he did not want his family to go through the same type of litigation he sees in his courtroom every day. The state found Herrera made several other questionable decisions, including refusing to acknowledge his wife's attorney, Angelica Carrion Beltran. He was not going to um, acknowledge uh, my role as her counsel. He was dismissive of me and he was preventing me from doing anything to get the discovery we needed because he would not transfer the case out of his court. Um, he was urged to do it numerous times. He would not do it. He alleges the complaint was motivated by his wife's attorney over attorney fees. And this constant allegation by this attorney is really out of spite, out of anger. But Carion Beltran tells KFOX 14 Investigates she was not the one who filed the complaint with the state. I don't know who it was because that information is private, but I suspect it was one of the judges that heard one of the recusal hearings. Um, but it wasn't me. But in this case, she thinks the commission got it right. It's purely about what's right and wrong. Um, and we as lawyers, we have rules to uphold. And if this can happen to a judge's wife, um, that's where the problem lies, because that was wrong. And he as a judge knew it was wrong. Um, we all have to play by the rules, but he doesn't. And that's why I think it was ap appropriate. Even now, she questions his decision making. I think there's concern about impartiality. Which could be troubling for an elected official entrusted to make judgments. Genevieve Curtis, KFOX 14, investigates. The state ordered Ereda to take six hours of educational training. Ereda says he plans to appeal his sanction.